Hello, <laughs> it's Meg. I'm doing my five and 35, day two. Um, <laughs> I had my mask on because I wanted to show you how good I was doing matching my outfit today. It's something I aspire to every day. But um, yesterday my coworker told me that my red mask did not match my dress good enough. <laughs> I didn't know anyone noticed I was trying so hard, but um, I had to up my game today. <laughs> I hope everybody is well. It's Friday. So I'm very excited just for it to be Friday. <laughs> um, I'm about to head home. I had a good day at work, interesting day at work. Um, I was going to tell y'all about how my day started, which I'm going to call it Fevergate. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Um, the building I work in has um, temperature scanners at every door. And so no one can come in the building if we're feverish, but I think a coworker took their temperature at home and they called out and said, hey, my temperature is 100.2. I'm not gonna come in today. And 100.4 is what our building is targeting, but I appreciate if anyone is 99 or above to call out, especially right now with COVID-19, I'd rather people err on caution. But I walk into the building and one, another coworker is like, livid out in the lobby and he's like so and so has a fever and they're not doing enough to protect us and he was very upset and apparently he got so upset before I arrived that my boss sent him home and I feel like in this pandemic environment if your job doesn't make you feel safe you are within your rights to request to go home but um I personally feel very safe at work. Um, you know, we sanitize all the workstations. We sanitize them between people using them, but for the most part, they're assigned, so there's not a lot of cross-contamination. We wear masks every day around each other. We maintain the six feet social distancing. So I personally feel very comfortable at work, but um, yeah, it was quite the tizzy and you know, sure, everyone's gonna be a little nervous until you know, that employee maybe goes and gets a test or doesn't have a fever. She's not gonna be here on Monday. So I think they gave her a mandatory three days off to kind of observe her symptoms. I feel great, I'm not worried, but um, <laughs> it just started the day off really weird. And then I walk in and my boss is like, so-and-so's out sick, so-and-so got sent home and we have no internet. <laughs> it's like, damn, what are y'all doing today? So I helped solve that problem by heart, you know, finding USBs and connecting all the computers because we have laptops and they all use the Wi-Fi. But um, we do have the technology to hardwire everything. So that is what we did. Um, easy day at work other than, you know, making sure everything got done while covering other people's duties. Um, I was going to say, uh, I listen to music I listen to podcasts generally in the background to have a little bit of noise, keep my brain interested while I'm working. And um, today I had the pleasure of listening to a bunch of different performers read Shel Silverstein poems out loud. And um, one of the performers was my friend Chelsea Black. And I love her. I've loved her for as long as we've known each other since high school. Um, she's a fantastic um, uh, performer, I guess you'd say. I was gonna say artist, and you know theater arts is, is an artist but um she's fantastic she does opera she does theater um and she's one of my friends that kind of helps me remember that in this pandemic all of our friends who do performance arts are really excluded because right now <laughs> i like to think you know singing is a super event a super spreader event so it's not safe right now to attend singing performances because their lungs are just so powerful that if they have COVID-19 they're projecting it to the world and I mean I hate my friends weaponized <laughs> but at the same time I've always known she had killer lungs so um but it was cool to see all these different performers do readings of poems and it got me excited got my heart going a little because you know I want to read these poems to my kid one day and <laughs> I hope he enjoys them as much as I do um but yeah, that was that was just kind of like the shining bright moment of my day. Um, tonight, it's Friday, I'm just gonna go home and relax. I'm so excited to do a whole lot of nothing for the next two days. Um, I will check in with you guys, <laughs> but um, I hope everyone has a safe weekend and are doing well. And um, in the links, I will post a, a link to their performance video of the poems. They've been doing a lot of different readings and it's super cool. 
All right, you guys take care. Bye, I love you.